everybody for this intro. I am going to pop this bottle. Everybody exit. Everybody, everybody hide. Oh yeah. No, oh god. <laughs> Why are you walking away? Are you really that scared? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Now you pop it. Let me do the popping part. Okay. I'm scared. Ew, <gasps> some hair. I need a glass of water. Oh. That was oh. <laughs> Top 10 Starbucks drinks. Made it home. No, they're homemade. JP, that's the same thing. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Healthy Junk Food, where today we're making our top 10 favorite Starbucks menu items. And that is gonna be in the order of 10 to one. We have our barista, Kaylee Rhymes, who worked at Starbucks, and she knows how much fun they're all to make, right? All these drinks are so much fun to make. So we're gonna start with the easiest, to the most annoying. Thanks. Cheers to making coffee. To making many different drinks We're gonna tonight. be drinking so much Top tonight. 10 We're drinks. gonna be running back and forth to the bathroom for reasons not on the other side, but on the front side. Oh. <laughs> Number 10, cappuccino. And you've made probably a bunch of cappuccinos before. Sorry. We're gonna take some milk. You have to have a gallon of it or it won't work. So what you do with these things, which are really great, and this is an espresso <coughs> brand, but I'm sure there's other stuff that you can find at the store. All you do is fill milk to the fill line, you put it on to the little steamer thing. Oops, uh-oh. So the top goes on, and then there's a button on the front here, and now it's gonna start whipping on the top. Uh-oh, stop it. Okay, that's a no-no, but it happens all the time. So once you get to a foamy consistency, just pour into our shot of espresso, and you've got a cappuccino. Our barista friend Kaylee describes this as a semi-dry, meaning not 100% foam, but not completely wet either. All right guys, for our first recipe, Kaylee and I made ourselves a cappuccino and we put it in a pint glass. It's not even a pint glass, it's a glass though. And you can see <laughs> 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 Lovely. Ladies and gents, this is number nine. Cafe latte. So to start, we're gonna brew some coffee. More espresso. Espresso. Fun fact about cafe latte, Kramer from Seinfeld loves cafe lattes and he ended up getting a file in a lawsuit um, because he got burnt and he gets free cafe lattes for the rest of his life. I can have as many cafe lattes as I want. That was the settlement. For the cafe latte, we're not going to do the heating thing as long because it makes it too foam. Ah. So we're going to pop that off. But we're going to get rid of that foam and just put steamed milk in the coffee. Espresso. I'll be honest with you, I think I like the cappuccino a little bit more than this Here, one. let's switch. I want to try that one. Okay. Mm. It has a different texture. It really it does. does. There you have it. The cafe latte. That's it. Cheers. For our eighth beverage today, we are making a vanilla latte. And why? Because we got this whole thing. Who doesn't like vanilla flavor? Not me. I like this. She's in the corner with a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. We're going to add two pumps of our vanilla syrup. With our espresso that we just brewed, we're just gonna put it right into our vanilla. Now don't forget we're making a latte here. So that means no foam, just steamed milk. And you are the pro. Here's oh, the this is the fun part. Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. I like the way you pour. Oh, thanks. Pull it to the top, the tip. All right, let's give this one a try. Let's do it. That didn't work at all. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Here, you let us know what you think. Oh, okay. Give it a little taste of root. It's pretty freaking good. Woo! <laughs> Number seven. A cafe mocha. So the first thing we did was we just drizzled some of that mocha fudge into the glass, and then we added one tablespoon of our vanilla syrup, brewed some espresso. Added on our steamed milk, and then some whipped cream with some mocha sauce right on drizzled top. Drizzled right on top. I'm just so excited because I hadn't had dessert yet today, and this is gonna be my dessert. There's so much whipped cream on this. So you wanted to eat it? I just wanted the oh, okay. stuff on top. All right. mm -hmm. Mm. It's getting me really gassy, I'll tell you what, guys. <laughs> like, oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Why'd you touch me before you did that? <laughs> Welcome, Tom, to the healthy junk food stage. We are in his house, so he's got to be in the video. So, <laughs> what do you think? So good. That is powerful. There isn't any alcohol in that, though. Do you still what like it? What are we it? doing here? What are we doing? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Number six. 
caramel macchiato. This is our favorite. It's right? my favorite drink on the whole menu. Luke Zito, roommate in college. Uh, he took me to a Starbucks. I said, I don't really know what to get, man. I don't drink coffee. He goes, get a caramel macchiato. We're gonna make it extra caramel-y, and I yes. got caramel espresso. We're gonna put that little pot in there. Two tablespoons of vanilla syrup in first, then the espresso, the steamed milk, and then the caramel drizzle on top. Oh yeah, you should yeah. go back this way oh, too. Oh yeah, back this you way. You should write your initials. Oh, like this? Yeah, like that, yeah, yeah, Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is just oh, so man. soothing. I feel like a mm. newborn that's just getting coddled. Mm. Now we got like caramel on top, caramel espresso Layers. with a little caramel drizzle. Ooh, mm. triple caramel. Okay, action. here <laughs> before I drink, I'll share more. Yeah. Starbucks number five. <laughs> Who doesn't like pumpkin spice? Julia's on the champagne. Okay? Yes. Number five, pumpkin spice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna steam some milk. We're gonna make an espresso and then make a little mixture of spices. Mm, okay, I see what you're that doing. That we're gonna make up into our little Thanksgiving treat. We added mostly pumpkin pie spice. Pumpkin pie spice. Some cinnamon, dash of cloves, and then a dash of ground nutmeg. So we're gonna add some vanilla. So Let's add a little bit more and then stir that. We brewed an espresso shot. We poured over our milk and then we put on some whipped cream with our seasoning mixture and some fresh nutmeg. Just eat the whipped cream and then you'll be like, okay, I'll throw the rest to it. I think I need a straw to get to the coffee. <laughs> it's delicious, actually. It's like a fall frenzy. I recommend it. I recommend it at home. Now, let's go to number four. See you next time with the next I'm gonna drink, drink this now. Number four. Cinnamon Dolce Latte. We ended up using the cinnamon dolce syrup and some vanilla syrup. Then we added the espresso in. And then our steamed milk. And then a big dollop of whipped cream, because Julia likes to go crazy with the whipped cream. I just spray it on there. It's really just, intense. And then we just sprinkled on some cinnamon, some brown sugar, and a little dust of sea salt. How's that top taste? It's really good. I want to get the licky part. Uh, that's what I was going for, the side of the glass, but... I gave you a new uh, licky part. I got a licky part. Who needs a licky part? Don't quote me on this. This caffeine is getting to all of us. I think we're all going into overdrive. This is ranking pretty high right now, guys. I've had a lot of coffee tonight. Don't judge. But this is fantastic. <laughs> Number three. The Caramel Brulee Latte. We started with a tablespoon of caramel syrup, then we drizzled the caramel around the glass, added our espresso, a little caramel drizzle, some milk. I chopped up some caramel bits just to be at the top, but if I had a food processor available, I would have just blitzed it in there. And then, of course, the whipped cream and our extra special caramel toppings. Mm, let's get into this. One sip for, for the, the health, health of it. it. Mm. All I got were caramel bits. It's delicious. fun sharing your drink. It's like mm. Lady in the Tramp. Mm -hmm. She's the lady, I'm the tramp. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that means I'm a dog. This is just delicious. I think I'm sugar high. All right, guys, number two. Dark chocolate peppermint mocha. What we did was we drizzled a little bit of chocolate around the edge of the glass. We added that peppermint syrup in there. And then we made our espresso poured in our steamed milk, added our whipped cream, and then our chocolate. The Julia dangerously grated. It's, it's so hard. That was a mess. We're just sticking big chunks of chocolate in it because why not? Ow. I'm burping. It's <laughs> delicious. I feel like I might have brushed my teeth while I'm drinking this. It's like an after dinner mint. It reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. I guess they also have a white chocolate peppermint There's a though. white chocolate only difference, guys. You put Substitute white, white chocolate, chocolate syrup and white chocolate on top. And the final one, Julia's favorite. The java chip. Java chip. To start, you guys are gonna have to brew some coffee and make sure it's chilled. Julia uses a Keurig because that's what we got. A pint glass of ice and threw that into the blender. Then we threw in the cold brewed coffee. After the coffee, we threw in a quarter cup of milk, a quarter cup of heavy cream, and then three tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. And then to finish it off, we threw in three of those Giardelli dark chocolate squares. Blend it all up. <laughs> <laughs> We need a straw. Oh my God! Top it off with some whipped cream and a little bit of mocha sauce on top. And you got yourself one of Julia's favorite drinks. Let's give it a taste. 
This yeah. really is it. This is my favorite. Remember that time you went to McDonald's and tried theirs and you threw up in Macy's? Mm -hmm. That was a good day. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. It tastes just like it. it yeah. I think they need a little <laughs> Kaylee Rhyme's still suffering from a little bit of that uh, Starbucks PTSD. Um, you can see a little uh, B-roll of her in the corner just freaking out. Alright guys, that is our top 10 favorite Starbucks drinks made at home right here at Hannah's Home. It was home. so easy too. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight guys. I can't stop moving my legs. I can't stop I am stop. so like her. It's a dance party and there's no music right now. Look, one last sip for the health of that. No! I want to learn all the secrets. Like Starbucks has like a secret menu or something? I guess so, I, I heard so. Just like that in and out video, see here, that related video. It seems like we might be planning another Starbucks segment, except we're branching into the secret zone. Let's yeah. do it again, tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow. Yes, same place. Oh my God. So we didn't have enough caffeine from the night before, so we woke up and went at it again. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for our Starbucks secret menu, coming soon.